Good day, ladies and gents. There have been a lot of Marvel games being released in recent years. Some of them are pretty good, and some of them are pretty bad. And this game is, uh, well, it's in the middle-ish kind of thing. This video is more of like a hot take on the game than anything else, to be honest. So if you disagree to everything I said, then I understand. You know what? I'm not going to beat around the bush any further. This is Marvel Puzzle Quest, a game that fuses casual gaming with Marvel characters. Hmm, which may sound to be a good day for a lot of you. Developed by Demiurge Studios and published by D3 Publisher and Marvel Entertainment, well, among other publishers, Marvel Puzzle Quest is, according to Wikipedia, <clears throat> Wikipedia is a free-to-play, match-three, bejeweled-style puzzle battle game set in the Marvel Universe. The game features a whopping 290 characters as of March 2023. Yeah, seven years after its initial release. And, uh, well, I could say that it, there's a lot of possibilities with this one. Well, but don't be fooled by the character roster as the game itself really doesn't offer anything to keep me interested at this point. Battles take place in a Candy Crush-like grid where you match tiles as a way of attacking enemies. Keep in mind that the enemy will do the same to you. However, you just don't match tiles. No, no, no. This is not just another Candy Crush clone. Uh, you see, matching specific tiles also fills up a color gauge of a specific color <laughs> and for a specific character, which then allows you to unleash unique abilities in order to hasten your opponent's defeat. What makes battles interesting is that each Marvel character has their own set of abilities that reflect their personalities and superhero persona. For example, Captain America is reliant on his shield to deal damage to your enemies as well as stunning them, while Wolverine has the power to completely annihilate enemies using his adamantium claws, making them bleed to submission. The amount of team customization is, admittedly, extensive, and while I have yet to get any of the top tier characters this game provides, it really isn't that much of an issue if you're just going to skim through the story missions. And the story missions are, well, generic. Predictable, but generic. And here lies the main problem. The overall experience doesn't seem to catch much of an attention for those wanting more on it. And if you are the kind of person who prefers a lot of action and colorful graphics that makes battles a spectacle, then I'm afraid that you won't find it here. The game also has uh, gacha elements. Because you, you can get new characters and even copies of characters they already own through comic book covers. What's interesting about this particular element is that each Marvel character is represented by a specific comic book cover with um, series number and all, as well as the corresponding series that they appear from, which is nice if you're into these sorts of things. Also, getting copies of existing characters will allow you to power them up even further, which is nice. Although seeing the comic book covers for each character would make you wonder sometimes. It can be nostalgic, yes? Wait, wait a minute. No, it's not. In fact, only diehard Marvel fans would actually appreciate these more than the casual player in itself. And players who played better mobile games will dismiss this game as nothing more than a licensed cash grab. But that doesn't mean the game is innately bad. It's just... Well, it's a puzzle game with Marvel characters. What do you expect? Also, it has PvP. For some reason. I don't know why they added this, but... It's just weird for a puzzle game to have PvP. Oh, never mind. The game has daily quests as well as well as uh, event missions too. Well, none of which are interesting and worth the time. Even if the rewards are somehow enticing, uh, yeah, it's a snooze fest in my opinion. And don't get me started on the game's guild system that has no business being here. And in fact. Uh, once I, uh, since coming back in this game, I just cannot help but see my, uh, well, my gill, um, uh, gathering dust and stuff. Wow. <laughs> talk about, talk about, uh, <sighs> get it. So what are my overall thoughts about Marvel Puzzle Quest? It's an enigma, and I don't see the word enigma in a good way. In fact, I really don't get why this game was even conceived in the first place. Okay, maybe I'm becoming a bit too harsh on the game, since there are some people that highly praise this game. But as much as I want to like this, I can't. I really can't. 
I just cannot appreciate the game compared to the way I like other games such as War of Divisions and Tappan, despite their flaws. Needless to say, I cannot say that Marvel Puzzle Quest is entirely bad, it's just... If you want to play a Marvel game, there are way better games out there. Don't invest on this game too much, you're only yourself to blame if you do. If you like the game, however, well, kudos to you, I guess. And here's the thing, it really is not a game for everyone. So there. Let me know your thoughts about this game by leaving a comment. Feel free to leave a like to this video and subscribe to the channel for similar content like this. Click the notification bell if you want more videos from me, Yasuga. See you ladies and gents next time. Bye!